Welcome back to the Red Carpet Ria. Today, we're diving into a brewing legal battle between Nelly and his former group, the Saint Lunatics. It seems like things are heating up as Nelly is being sued for a whopping $50 million, but there's a twist. Not all the group members are on board with this lawsuit. Let's break down what's really going on and what led to this feud. First off, the lawsuit was filed by Ali Jones, one of the original members of St. Lunatics, accusing Nelly of not crediting or compensating the group for their work on his debut album, Country Grammar. Now, this album, which came out in 2000, was a major success. It topped the Billboard 200 and went diamond, meaning it sold over 10 million copies. But according to Ali, the group didn't get the financial recognition they deserve. He's demanding $50 million from Nelly, especially after Nelly reportedly sold half of his music catalog for that same amount just last year. Ali feels like that money should have been shared, at least in part, with the group. Here's where things get interesting. The other members of St. Lunatics, Murphy Lee, Ki Wan, and City Spud, have distanced themselves from Ali's lawsuit. They were reportedly surprised to find their names attached to the suit. In fact, they've hired Nelly's lawyer to represent them and are threatening legal action against Ali if he doesn't remove them from the case. These three members have maintained a close relationship with Nelly and even performed with him at the 2024 American Music Awards, a show where Ali was notably absent. So why is Ali pushing this so hard? Well, it turns out this isn't the first time he's spoken out about his issues with Nelly. In a 2023 interview with Vlad TV, Ali claimed that Nelly owed him and the group tens of thousands of dollars, estimating anywhere between $70,000 to $90,000. According to Ali, payments were sporadic and he'd sometimes receive checks for far less than what he felt he was owed. He even went as far as saying he'd never perform with Nelly again because of these unresolved money issues. Ali has made it clear he feels like Nelly's success has come at the expense of the group, while Nelly's reportedly been focused on his solo career and personal financial gain. When we first started the Lunatics, Ali was not in this group. Mm. Speak up a little bit, Nelly, please. When we first started the Lunatics, <laughs> Ali was not in this group. Okay. I'm drinking a Nejo, brother. Hold on. Stop me when I'm lying. Give me a little bit, but Anybody in here? Because you say you know him for a long time, so did he tell you that? He didn't tell you that. No, he did. Okay. He told me something different. Okay. Course. But you go. Of course he did. You go. This is your turn. Now, so so we can put out this single, Give Me What You Got, which is supposed to be a lunatic record. But Ali is on the hook. Ali is on the first verse. And Ali is on the second verse. Mm. It's five lunatics. This man is all over this record. Why you didn't take off a second verse, Ali, and put somebody else on? Why you didn't let another lunatic do the hook? How is this a lunatic song and you all over the record? No wonder you in such a rush to sign these contracts so these folks can put this single out. All in all, this is a messy situation that's causing a divide within one of hip hop's legendary groups. While Ali is adamant about getting what he feels the group is owed, the rest of the Saint Lunatics seem to have Nelly's back and want nothing to do with the lawsuit. It's definitely a complicated case and we'll have to wait and see how things unfold in court. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more music industry updates, and let me know in the comments what you think about this feud between Nelly and the Saint Lunatics. See you in the next one.